It is our custom on the first Sunday of the year to recognize our leaders in the church. You have been given this morning a list of all of our leaders from administrative committees and from work areas. I appreciate all of you who work in formal and informal ways in this church and who allow us to do what we do in the ministry of Northview Church. I realize at times sitting on committees can be a bit of a drudge. There are better ways to spend the evening. But I want you to always remember that what you do is a vital part of the ministry of this church. And the ministry of the church, and for all churches, is to share the love of God with our neighbor. So this morning, I'm going to be highlighting these different committees and work areas. I'm going to call out the committees. And if you serve on that committee, I'll invite you to stand. And while you're standing, I will share with all of you the biblical foundation for the committee on which you serve. And then I will say thank you for your service, and you're invited to be seated at that point. So we'll begin with the Trustees and Property Committee. Please stand your aid. Nehemiah was a prophet who returned to Jerusalem after being in exile for generations. He was troubled by the state of disrepair of the temple. Nehemiah surveyed the site and determined what would be needed to renovate it properly. Next, he worked with masons, carpenters, to rebuild the temple. You help us to maintain our physical plant. Thank you for your service. Finance and Stewardship Committees. Luke 8, 1 to 3 tells about women who traveled with Jesus and the other disciples and provided for them out of their resources. Some scholars think this refers to widows who brought basic necessities for them out of their inheritance. Acts 4, 32 to 34, describes how the early church shared their financial resources so no one would be needy. Paul's epistle describes how he took up collections in churches throughout Asia Minor to send to the mother church in Jerusalem. These offerings went to widows and orphans in Jerusalem. This practice was his way of connecting congregations to each other in the Christian church. You continue this ministry. Thank you for your service. Worship committee. Acts 20 recounts how Sunday became the day for Christians to get together and worship. This included table fellowship, prayers, singing, and reading scripture. Christians developed the synagogue worship service to reflect Christians' belief. You continue this at one. Thank you for your service. Helping hands. Jesus wept at the grave of his friend Lazarus. Women accompanied his, his, his sister Mary so she would not have to grieve alone. You provide care to those who are hurting. Thank you for your service. Fellowship Committee. People's lives were transformed when they dined with Jesus, as reported in the Gospels. Matthew 10 recounts Jesus sent the disciples out in pairs to share the Gospel in the homes of the women. Your ministry of hospitality continues this tradition. Thank you for your service. Education of Children and Youth and Preschool Committees. Children are a part of God's plan throughout the Bible. David conquered Goliath when he was a boy. Jesus' first miracle in Mark was healing a 12-year-old girl. Jesus used loaves and fish brought by a boy to feed the multitudes in John's Gospel. People brought children to Jesus for his blessing. We continue to bless children in Jesus' name and celebrate their contribution.
solutions within our ministry. Thank you for your service. Outreach Committee and Social Club. Jesus said in Matthew's Gospel, as you did it for the least of these, you did this unto me. He describes ministry of compassion as involving clothing the naked, feeding the hungry, and visiting those in prison. Throughout Jesus' ministry, he befriended those whom society had relegated to the margins. All people are cared for and nurtured through your ministry. Thank you for your service. Our annual conference and district conference delegates. Paul and Peter provided letters of introduction to fellow Christians traveling to churches around Europe. The church grew and became unified through the interaction of missionaries throughout the church. You are our bridge to the worldwide ministries of the United Methodist Connection. Staff Parish Relations Committee. Acts describe how elders were set aside to participate, to practice spiritual exercises, and provide comfort for the congregation. The church supported the work of those dedicated to full-time ministry. This tradition continues with your work. Thank you for your service. Administrative Council members. John 15, 5, Jesus said, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who abide in me, and I in them, bear much fruit. Because apart from me, you can do nothing. All work areas come together through this unified body. Thank you for your service. And finally, nominations and lay leadership. Paul compared the church to the body of Christ in his first letter to the Corinthians. Parts of the body have different functions, and each of us has a unique set of talents, knowledge, and relationships to share. The, this committee directs the disciples of Christ to where their gifts and passions may be most useful. Thank you for your service. If you did not stand, please talk to me. I would be delighted. <laughs> to direct you to a work area where your gifts and passions can best be put to work. Let's give all of our leaders a hand. 